Right, this is just demonstrating our spread spectrum system that we've got at the moment. This is a frequency hopping system and th at the moment we've got a transmitter and a receiver locked in sync so that they're tracking to identical frequencies between 5.75 megs and 5.25 megs over 10 spot frequencies and as you can see the frequencies are changing in a pseudo random pattern on the spectrum analyzer actual start and stop frequency information uh, we can see there is the start frequency is focus on that is 5 megs sorry the center frequency is 5 megs start frequency is 45 and stop frequency is 5.5 so on the spectrum analyzer we're tracking 1 megahertz each of the channels are 50 megs, 50 kilohertz spacing. Uh, just now, have a look at the setup at the moment. Okay, uh, down here we've got an audio amplifier uh, for the microphone. Uh, we'll just have a quick talk into the microphone. Testing one, two, three, one, two, three. Testing one, two, three, one, two, three. Uh, on the bench, this is the transmitter. It consists of a direct digital synthesizer, the DDS chip an old AD7008 um, programmed by a PIC 16F877 and the 16F877 um, is acting as a master which provides timing to a similar uh, direct digital synthesizer this DDS is used for the local oscillator of the receiver uh, the receiver here uh, we can see the local oscillator output frequency on the brown cable this cable here is being fed into the, into a balance mixer. There's no actual RF front end on here so there's no pre-selection so it's quite wide band. Uh, going through balance mixer and then the RF in is loosely coupled on this blue wire here okay, to the output the balance modulator on the transmitter. The transmitter like I say the output from the direct digital synthesizer the master oscillator effectively is on this brown cable here feeds into a balance mixer, an MC1496 and uh, we've got it set for a carrier uh, so we've slightly off balanced the mixer slightly to generate a double sideband AM signal and the, like I say, the double sideband signal which is stepping in frequency is loosely coupled to the input of the balance mixer on the receiver front end okay. And then we have an IF of 455 kilohertz. So the actual receiver local oscillator is tracking in step uh, from the transmitter at 455 kilohertz above transmitter frequency. So the actual local oscillator in this case on the receiver is tracking high. Okay. We've got the two transmitter and receiver DDSs in synchronization with this three per cable down here. Uh, the master is providing a synchronization pulse for the slave pick on here uh, and this in turn ensures that the two DDS's master and slave and transmitter and receiver respectively keep in step. You can actually hear at the moment we've got the output from the receiver is going to an LM380 2 watt audio amplifier fed into a speaker here at the moment um, we can actually hear the click you can actually hear on here is caused by the step change. Like I say, this is only a prototype at the moment, and uh, we are sort of uh, we can find ways of improving that later on. Um, around the back, we're actually monitoring on a fixed frequency at 5 megahertz one of the steps on an HF receiver uh, at the back. So if I now go and talk through, press the talk. One two testing one two three one two three one two three one two one two one two and when we actually reach the five meg which is the middle of the display uh, the HF receiver will actually pick that up you can't actually hear that at this stage because of the, the volume of the monitor amplifier test one two three one two three one two three and there we have it A very simple but effective frequency hopping system. The trace on the oscilloscope is monitoring the actual master oscillator frequency okay and as you can see it just altering phase as the frequency alters. 
uh, at the same time. We can now see, you can see the two displays, you can see the spectrum analyzer on the left. Uh, I've also monitoring the frequency, uh, with, uh, we've plugged in a frequency counter as well, so you can actually track the actual frequency steps that we're actually making. And that's just about it.